Hello there, it's Sam from Firstly Squeeze Samples. And today's daily tip came from Nijin, who's a very talented producer. I suggest you check his out his music. Uh, but his tip was that it can be easier to identify a muddy low end by putting a low pass filter on the master during mixing stage. So I'm going to show you what he means by that. I've got a chorus here, or a drop if you want to call it that. And there's quite a lot going on, um, but let's say I wanted to mix my sub bass and my kick and identify problems there and, and basically make it sound tight. Now if I play this all at once, you know there's, there's quite a lot going on, there's synths, there's effects everywhere, and to mix the kick and the sub bass like that, uh, it's quite difficult. Now one way to fix this is to solo the kick and the sub bass and mix from there, but I like to go a step further and add an auto filter to the master. Now this allows me to do two things, first it allows me to identify uh, if there are any synths or sounds that are hitting below 100Hz and obviously I'll pull this down to 100Hz, um, any sounds that are below 100Hz that shouldn't be and it also allows me to focus in on the sub-frequencies of the kick and the sub-frequencies of the bass uh, to find if there's any clashing. So now if I play this, I can hear if anything's clashing uh, much more easily and the, the sub-bass could be side-chain side chain to the kick, it is clashing a little bit. Um, so the auto filter trick, really handy uh, and you can of course do it as a high pass as well if you want to identify issues in the high end or as a band pass, uh, you get the idea, very handy. Um, so I hope that makes sense, if you have any questions do leave a comment, otherwise have fun producing.